in today's video, I want to talk about the divine masculine energies explained. Hi, beautiful friends. My name is Catherine Live, and on this channel, I love to talk about the energy of the divine feminine, the divine masculine, unity consciousness, and what that looks like in a real life kind of way when you're raising children, really doing everything that you can to be in the embodiment of your highest potential. One of the aspects of stepping into our highest potential is being able to be in a good relationship with the divine masculine within us. We're speaking outside of terms of gender when we talk about this because the divine masculine is a consciousness that we can, you know, we can tap into and we can resource from in the same way that the divine feminine is a consciousness that we can tap into and resource from. Divine masculine energy in my experience really started to click in with me over the last year. It's taken me some time to really accept and integrate. Acceptance is was a huge one for, I think for a lot of women to really accept and receive the amount of support that the divine masculine offers, okay? And again, this is a consciousness, okay? This is a consciousness that we can embody for ourselves. It's within you, okay? This is not, this isn't some sort of external figure, you know, these, these masculine guides, th that's wonderful. They are wonderful teachers, right? But then it, they're, they're pointing you to this is within you, this consciousness of the divine masculine is within you. Are you willing to feel it? Are you willing to really see it? And just like with the divine feminine, the divine masculine has been obliterated by the patriarchy, okay? Like, obliterated. And that's where there can be a lot of confusion when I think we're trying to do this healing work because we live in such a masculine world. We live in this world very, very much dominated by the patriarchy that is suffocating, suffocating the voice of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Okay, so this divine masculine quality is so, so beautiful. It's the reason that I'm here every day on YouTube. That couldn't happen until my divine masculine started to like activate and click in. And I started to really accept that much support for myself, okay? Comes from within. It's a choice to, to say yes to the divine masculine and to the divine feminine and to your highest potential. It's a choice. But the divine masculine, that consciousness is very solid. It, you can imagine the divine masculine consciousness when you look at a gorgeous waterfall. You see a gorgeous scene, you know, or water hitting rocks. The divine masculine is the rock. It is, it is that face of the mountain that the water can, can flow through. It's, it's holding it and shaping it and the you know the divine feminine can be the expression and the dance that's happening around and all of that you know she's like channeling in this cosmic force and the divine masculine has a presence another visual i really like i love is an oak tree a big old oak tree right has that grandfather divine masculine energy of wisdom and lived experience, balanced. You can look at that oak tree, you can see it's just like so balanced on either side. In every way that you look at it, there's balance. Now just in the way that the divine feminine is very dynamic and very multifaceted, the, the divine masculine is as well. Because we also see the divine masculine as the action taker, as the advisor, and willingness to go to to know the humility to go to an advisor the humility of we only know what we know <laughs> and because and because there is an acceptance of uh unity consciousness within divine masculine consciousness then there is an understanding that we are all here to work together 
and support one another. And there's no shame in that. It's about collaboration. It's about teamwork. It's fascinating to me because in major sports, there are still glimpses of beautiful divine masculine energy. And I'm gonna talk about that in the Divine Masculine Embodied video and really get into those nuances and where we can see the glow of that Divine Masculine shining through. This consciousness of the Divine Masculine is, is there's, there's a lot of orderliness, um, keeping an, a pristine space is very important, right? Keeping the space around us very clean and, and doing what is necessary to make sure that gets done. Being with time, really becoming masterful with the time that we have. The Divine Masculine is very, very mentally strong. Understands, <laughs> understands that the heart is the leader and that the Divine Feminine is, go, it is, it is the leader within the intuition, the heart impulse is, goes, it goes first. Okay. But there is time spent on developing a strong mind that can serve those intuitive knowings. The reason that the, the mentally strong piece is so important for all of us is because life is always giving us challenges. That will, that will always be, that will always be, okay? For as long as you're here and as long as you're alive, life is going to be shaping you and assisting you with your evolution. And it is your constant yes, yes to the challenge. Yes, yes, I accept the challenge. Yes, I accept the creative challenge. I accept this much love. You, you know, we were talking about that with the Divine Feminine, right? She's taking in life. She is this magnetic, beautiful force. Life is coming in to her reality. And she's in acceptance of that. The divine masculine is really there to say yes and to be the response because there's been a preparation already. It's already prepared for. We have prepared for this moment of yes to more life. We have prepared for it because the Divine Masculine insisted that we do so. There is an acceptance that the Divine Masculine has with this. It's just, it's just accepted that this is how it will be. It's not a problem. And that steadfastness that the Divine Masculine can offer us is so, it just whew, really helps diffuse things because we are in an okay relationship with the fact that this life is going to, you know, really challenge you. It's gonna build some muscle. And by saying yes to that and saying, yes, I understand there's going to be moments where I resist. There's going to be moments where I get into a struggle, but the divine masculine knows that it's like, it's all for the glory of just knowing more of you. It's for knowing more of, of, you know, of the divine and of yourself and seeing that within yourself and seeing the mirror of that within yourself. It's like the challenge in the, the game, you know, getting into the game and saying yes, right? And playing the game. Remember that video with Isis where it was like, you gotta play the game. That's a divine masculine activation when you can say yes and to being relevant, right? I'll try to find that video and link it here because that was strong. That's, that is Isis coming in and being like, all right, we're gonna work on the divine masculine aspect within you. So in that dynamic and in that dance, the divine masculine cultivates power, an inner power, a force that comes out. So as much as I, I obviously love, love the Divine Feminine. It is my, it's a huge part of my life. Maybe the biggest, most influential consciousness that I have said yes to 
Now, where did the yes come from? It came from my inner divine masculine, right? And it is the inner union, the inner union of that that is really, I believe we are being asked right now. I believe life, not some external, but I believe we are asking ourselves through the mirror of life. Are you ready for that? Are you ready and willing for the divine masculine activations? Are you ready for that much love and support? And I'm saying yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? It feels good to be prepared. It feels good to do the hard thing. It feels good to feel support. It feels good to be the support. It feels really good. It feels solid. It feels human. It feels like the queen of earth, the king of earth. That is, that's what they don't want you to know, is that that's who you are. That's who you are. It's already within you. Like, that's who you are. I love you so much. I love you so much for watching this video. Thank you for being here. I just love talking about this. And in the next video, I want to talk about some of those ways that the divine masculine is embodied. Because that's, that's the fun stuff for me. I love talking about embodiment um, and my journey with it and what I see in the beautiful reflections of divine masculine conscience and, and divine feminine. We've got a video on that as well. Please like and subscribe um, and then comment on the divine masculine have you gone through a divine masculine awakening are you going through a divine masculine awakening do you have people in your life who are a beautiful reflection of this i think that's an interesting conversation because they're start he's arriving okay it's happening and i say he as like it's within me it's within others there he's waking up okay he's waking up shaking things off he's like hey i'm ready to play and i'm excited about that i'm excited to see more of that around me and i hope you do too okay so may your life be blessed with the miracles only you could be so brilliant to command i love you